Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wilkie, and I'm here um, with a very special kind of video. This is something a little bit different, so I don't know if you know this about me, but I'm not perfect. I actually make a whole bunch of mistakes. If you see some of my other videos and you wonder how I can flub up something so bad, um, know that that was my best take of that video, and I felt confident enough to release it. So for today's video, this is actually just a compilation of all of the videos I've never released for whatever reason. Um, either I messed up in them, or I felt that they were distracting to the actual viewer as to what it was supposed to be about. Some of them are just like, I don't think anyone would enjoy it because it wasn't focused on the actual thing I was supposed to do, but there are some good stuff in there, so it's something a little bit different, so that's what we're going to do today. I hope you like it, and without further ado, here's the first clip of Yes Into the Thing. Start it, Wookie! Um, but a bunch of dudes die, and that's cool. So, you know, it is what it is. You can either live forever complaining, or you can just suck it up. I choose to suck it up. You know what I'm saying? Holler if you hear me. No one understands that reference. <laughs> it's okay though. Shoutouts to all my WCW fans out there. All my. No, no, that, not technically speaking, that's Scott Steiner. To all my freaks out there, Scott Steiner. If you don't know who Scott Steiner is, he is a wrestler who is a crazy ass person. Well, what did I did in that video that was different from everything else I did? The answer is, is that I decided to just have fun and do something very stupid. And not everyone appreciates those type of videos. I don't understand. I can, I personally love those kind of videos. The ones that just go horribly off the rails, I love those. That's why I love um, when D Free and uh, Hydros did their What If He's Gay videos, and most of them always like turned out. Um, a lot of them would turn into them just kind of having fun with each other. Uh, that sounded way more sexual than I meant it to be. Nathan Spencer. I have no idea why. Why in the name of Jesus Christ would they add back in Nathan Spencer? Nathan Spencer, if you don't know, the only reason he was in Marvel vs. Capcom 3 is because they were doing a big push for the new Bionic Commando. Which is why Nathan, Spe uh, Nathan Spencer doesn't look anything like the old Bionic Commando, which was Bazooka Joe. Um, he looks like the new one. Um, and he ended up finding a place in there because of Bionic Arm. But I don't understand why they bring him back. It's It actually is mind-boggling that they were like, yeah, Nathan Spencer, let's bring him back. Um, that's dumb. That's dumb as fuck that they thought that they could just bring back Nathan. So you, let me explain what's happening. Scott Steiner's being interviewed by a lady about his opponents. Kurt Angle Samojo. You have an important step tonight as you and X Division champion Petey Williams. Yeah, Petey Williams is basically like his mini me. You got it, Pia. I believe in you. <laughs> God damn it. Did he die? Oh no, he didn't. Oh, someone bought in. Oh, no. They got it. Yet drastic go down. At sacrifice, you got a 33 and third chance of winning. But I, I got a 66 and two third chance of winning. Cause Kurt Angle knows. Man, he is being the shit out of this guy. And he's not even gonna try. So small Joe, you take your 33 and a third chance minus my 25 percent chance, and you got an eight and a third chance of winning at sacrifice. <laughs> but then you take my 75 percent chance of winning if we used to go one on one. And then add 66 and two thirds percent. I got 141 and two thirds chance of winning at sacrifice. Hell yeah. Go, Pia. Numbers don't lie. And they spell disaster for you at sacrifice. See, but I'm going to break it down for you, ladies. Would he you did a good job. Be with me, or would you rather be with Joe? Well, I think Joe's kind of nice. I mean, you know. So you're one of those girls that like romance. I'm gonna talk to all my freaks out there. Would you rather really come home to me, a genetic freak, to be satisfied every night, or go home to that fat ass small Joe? 
See, tonight, we're gonna win, and I'm gonna be the world champion at Sacrifice. Come on, Pete. Let's go. Scotty, just like you always say, Big Papa Pump has got your hookup. Well, Maple Leaf Muscle is who you need to look up. Holler if you hear that. There you go, everyone. That's Jugali. <laughs> do the robotic voice without actually having a robotic filter like they do. As a ventilator brown in your head and as good as a single open window. How would you let your head in there? So I'm to climb that? Damn right. Yuh, 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 yuh. If you think I'm gonna let a tattooed mobster get in my way, damn it! If you think I'm going to let a tattooed mobster how do you mean when it comes to climbing a few walls? You've been got another thing coming. Castle Appreciation Secret Technique Crane Device. Is that a... Is that a giant uncommon crane? Wow, where have you been hiding that this whole time? Elizabeth, I don't know your voice. No fair, baddie. It's, it's... It's just too damn cool, flying and attacking with origami. The whole thing's got a certain je ne sais quoi to it that attacking with playing cards just can't match. Yo, you really think so? If you're wondering what voice is it, it's Mila from the Godzilla movies. Hey! Come on over here! I won't hurt you! Um, well, not not most of them. Really, the only ones I haven't really mastered are Volk and um, Tartarus. But Tartarus is very hard. I think recently someone on Twitter, Mia, I believe is their name? Are you about to die, Mim? Did you just fucking die, Mim? I'm gonna switch to you again. How did you die? You, you're so good now, ma'am, and you're over here dying? Survive. What? 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 Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, I'm back with some more Dragalia Lost. Today's video, so we're gonna be talking about Grace, because um, currently the dream ticket is up uh, up and running. If you don't know what that is, I can may as well show it right here. It is apparently not running anymore. Damn it! No, it has to be running. The celebration is just getting started. Yes. No, that's Trash Alliance. God damn, we're gonna have to start this <laughs> fucking video all over again. Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woki, and I'm back with some more Dragalia Lost. Today's video, we're going to be talking about Grace. The reason why is because, well, let me show you real, real quick, real quick. Um, and of course, everything goes bad. Alright, everything went fine. Um, the reason we're talking about it is, of course, we... Oh, God damn it, I have to stop. In this next clip, for some reason, and I don't know why, Watch me freak out over thinking I... what? Okay, to explain this next clip coming up, just in case you don't actually watch what happens, um, there's two different versions of Dragon Trials. I was just supposed to go into the High Dragon Trial. I instead went into the regular Dragon Trial thinking that I was fighting the High Dragon Trial for Jupiter, and this happens. Going to Jupiter. Jupiter can be a real pain in the butt. Let me see if I can actually do Master. I've been having, I'm still trying to learn Jupiter myself. So let's see if this actually works out with this team right here. Um, so a lot of the thing about also using Grace, because you can see as I'm going like, I'm not sure if they can beat this, but the main reason is, is because I haven't optimized the pain. Like this is Master. So I would in theory also would like to actually use Papia. Um, Keep your eyes on victory. Done already? How disappointing. The fuck just happened? Do we, what? 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 What the hell just happened? You gotta take a screenshot of that. Alright, I'm gonna switch to Big Mom because we actually need to win this game. And I hate uh, I hate these guys, and I think it's time for them to be put in their place. So be put in your fucking place, Blackbeard. Quick down from the fucking trash that you are. Never forget. 
that you are nothing but trash to me when I am Big Mom. All my gotchas aren't doing anything until at least tomorrow. <laughs> so I'm just gonna play some Warrior Land 3. I hope you enjoy that. Um, and of course, someone comes home right when I say that. The gold coins. Okay. Keep my voice down because I'm afraid that at any minute someone's gonna realize what I'm doing, which is playing Wario at night and recording it. But oh, turn off the giant. Nope. Ah! Son of a bitch. Wario, I need you to work with me here, man. Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm back with some more Dragalia Lost, because today, let me back up, today we're talking about the new things that are coming with the Gala Dragalia. So, uh, that's going to be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, you can leave a like, and you can subscribe to me for more Dragalia stuff, and I've completely fucked up this intro, so... <laughs> oh god. Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woki, and I'm back with another Dragalia Lost video. Today's video, we are going to be talking about the brand new, two new units that got announced for a cute- God damn it. I thought it was going to be three characters. It now makes 100% 100% in- what? It makes a lot of sense that there's only two now, Giovanni and Karina. Alright, Renee and Lenora's Mana Spirals will be unlocked. Cool. Renee definitely needs it because she was the only sister of the, um, I hope this means that the other sisters are going to get their mana spirals pretty soon. Ramona and, um, Girl with Sword? I can't believe I forgot their name. I forgot the other sister's name. My bad. And Lenora, well, I don't think she was good at launch, so hopefully she gets a good one. The other dude that came, um, in her event, I forget, uh... I forget his goddamn name. Someone recently told me, how could you forget his name? And the reason is that I don't have him. So I forget about him all the time. Lucas Friend, the one who's always used in a lot of win comps. Um, he should be hopefully coming back for this. So I mean, what? Oh, I have to start this over again. All right, next, we got Renee and Lenora's Mana Spirals. Mana Spirals? Yeah, I said that right. Oh, God. Anyway, um, first off, we have Renee here and Lenora. We don't know what they're going to do. We just know they're going to get buffed. Um, I recently, recently, I restarted this video because I could not remember the name of the other sister and I could not remember the name of Luca's friend um, to save my life. But I was saying that, saying that, oh, God, fucking damn it. Um... And the ones offered are, of course, Sabre Alter, Gay Wind, Guy Wind, Gay Wind, Gay Wind. Um, I was supposed to call you Beowulf. No, you're not Beowulf. It's uh, Siegfried, Dion, uh, J.K. Fox, uh, Cool Deer Mood, Nero, Old Man Sit, Rama, Lancelot, Saber Lancelot, Tamoy, Tamoy, Atlanta, Emia. Censored Emia, uh, I guess punished Emia, that would be the correct term. Detroit Emia as the Japanese side of him call, but I'm not gonna, you know, well, I already called him that anyway. Anyway, Horse Teacher, Blind Man, uh, Big King. Man, there's a lot of people in this. It's gonna take way too long for me to. Yeah, I just realized that their names are up there. You know what? I should just start over. And I think with this, it's a good time to say I'm going to end the video because we're pretty close to the end here. Thanks everyone for watching. If you liked it, I hope you did. Good luck out there continuing grinding. Till next time everyone, goodbye. Perfect ending time.